Hello and welcome to this latest installation of my video blog, Mwadi's Musings. I haven't been able to post in a while. I've been traveling and right now I'm in Boston choreographing and planning an event. So things have been really hectic, but in a good way. In any event, I am so happy to be back and I'm very grateful that you are taking some time to spend with me today. Over the last couple of weeks, I've had the opportunity to speak with some young women who have shared with me some of the challenges that they've been experiencing in their personal relationships. So I thought that I would take this opportunity to share a practice and a theory that has served me well in these last few years and has really helped me to reduce the anxiety and a lot of the stress that used to characterize um, not just my romantic relationships but some of my personal relationships with friends and family as well. And my theory is this, when you are about to, about to embark on a new relationship or you're engaging with individuals with whom you have an established relationship, you should approach them in the same way that you would approach the task of purchasing a used car. When you go to a used car dealership, nine times out of 10, it's either written on the, on the window, on the car on a sticker, or the uh, salesperson will tell you this directly, right? you have to take this car as is. All the dings, all the scratches and scrapes and any dents that you might see in that car that are on the lot are the same dings and scratches, etc. that you are going to experience and see when you take this car off the lot. And if you can't accept the car as is, if you cannot ride off into the sunset with this car, knowing that there's a great potential, a great possibility that it will not change, that what you see now is what you will have in the future, if you can't accept that, then leave the car on the lot. Same thing with your friends and family and loved ones. Acceptance is one of the greatest gifts that you can give anybody in, 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 a lot, in, in their life. Anybody, your friends, your family, whomever, knowing that people see you, understand you, and know who you truly are and can love you anyway is a great, great, great gift. And unfortunately, many of us, myself included, when we get close to people that we love, that we care about, we sometimes feel that it becomes our responsibility, our obligation to help them change. In romantic relationships, when we meet people in those first couple of months, right, during the honeymoon phase, everything's gravy, everything's beautiful. Every little character idiosyncrasy that they have, we think is just wonderful and cute. And then when once we get to know them and we become comfortable with them, those same characteristics that we thought were cute start to tap dance on the last nerve that we have. Whether it's chronic lateness or maybe your partner chews with their mouth open or maybe they're not the greatest communicator. Whatever that was or whatever that, that, that aspect of their being is, was there when you met them. But because we were so caught up in the newness of it and the excitement of it, we overlooked them or we minimized them. Or worse yet, we thought in the back of our head, well, they'll change. It'll get better. When you meet someone, they usually show you the character of who they are, the essence of who they are. Maybe not initially, but eventually it does come to light. Your task is not to change them. We can't drag people down the road of transformation. We can inspire, we can motivate, we can support, and we can encourage. But the act of transformation must come from within that person. It has to be internally driven and divinely guided in order for it to be authentic and long-lasting. If you find yourself in a constant state of wanting with your partner, wanting things to be different, wanting him or her to change, then you are doing him or her a disservice because you are communicating to them your disapproval. You are communicating to them that they're not good enough. And you are doing yourself a disservice because you are setting yourself up for bitterness and resentment. The best thing that you can do is accept them for who they are. When you meet them, as you get to know them, ask yourself the critical question. If he or she does not change, if the dreams that he or she speaks or the life that he or she envisions for himself 
himself or herself never comes to pass. Can I accept this person and live with this person and be with this person as he or she is right now? If the answer to that question is no, do yourself a favor, do your intended a favor, and leave them alone. It's not your place. How arrogant is it of us to think it is our role to change people? Change can happen. People can evolve. I've seen it in my own life. I've seen it with my own life experiences. But it is not, does not come from, it really comes from the actions or the words of an outside source. I may see someone and be inspired to change. I may see someone and it might ignite a desire for me to change, but unless that voice comes from within, unless that drive comes from within, it most likely is not going to happen. So when you meet someone or you're engaged with someone, ask yourself that critical question. Am I trying to change a four-door Volkswagen into a two-door Corvette sports car or am I willing to accept this person? If he does change, great. If she does reach those goals that she aspires to, that's great, that's gravy, that's extra. But if you can't look at that person right now in the eyes and see him or her for who she truly is, for who he truly is, and have acceptance and be able to walk with them in love, then leave them alone. There's someone out there who's better suited for him or her. There's someone out there who's better suited for you. You cannot change anything, anyone, but yourself. So if you find yourself in a constant tug of war, constantly wishing things, constantly constantly wishing he or she was something, someone, other than what they are right now, to the point that you are finding yourself to be unhappy, you hear yourself being that nag, walk away, leave them alone. Their transformation, their change will come when it is their time for it to come. Maybe you'll be there to witness it and maybe you won't, but you most certainly will not be the person that makes it happen. Do them a favor and leave them alone, okay? Have a great day, have a great week, be open to whatever the universe has for you and I will see you very soon. Bye-bye.